the grade five math practice test for T and ready. Um, question number 22 is in subpart three now, and the calculator is allowed. I don't know how you'd use a calculator here, but good luck. What shape would always be considered a rhombus? So this is sort of a definitions question. You might just have to know what the definitions are. So when I have a rhombus, I'm looking for four sides. And I want all sides equal. That's it. That's all that's required. So I'm going to look at these, and if you know them, generally speaking, if you're looking for the one thing that's all the things, it's almost always square. Because a square has four sides. I'm just going to write 4s there. All sides equal. And right angles. All the vertices or right angles. Lie to yourself. I know it's not 90 degrees. And we'll say all these are equal. That's what makes it a square. So the answer to this one is actually A. But I'll go through the rest of them just for fun. What makes a rectangle fail? And that's what you should do. If you have time, go through and eliminate all the other answers so you know. Uh, four sides again. Right angles. So we'll say... 90 degree angles, whatever. Um, all sides equal is not a requirement because this is a rectangle if you pretend these angles are 90 degrees. But this side is obviously not the same as this. Now, opposite sides are equal and parallel, but not that one. Quadrilateral. Quadrilateral is any four sided figure. Four sides. But Opposite sides being, e all sides being equal is not a component. Opposite sides being equal is not a component. Right angles is not a component. Necessarily. It could be any of these things. A square is a quadrilateral. A rectangle is a quadrilateral. A rhombus is a quadrilateral. But all quadrilaterals are not a rhombus or a rectangle or a square. This is kind of like the, the parent of all things. So you have your quadrilateral up here, and then the quadrilaterals like children are square, rectangle, parallelogram, that sort of thing. Trapezoid. So that's out. Not because it doesn't meet some of the requirements of being a rhombus, but it doesn't meet all of them. And parallelogram. Parallelograms do have four sides, opposite sides are parallel, but again, no requirement for all those sides to be equal, so parallelogram is out as well. So there you go. A square is always considered to be a rhombus because it has both sides, all four sides, and all of those sides are equal in length. And as an added bonus, it also has all the angles being the same, which are 90 degrees. So really learn your definitions of your shapes, and you should be in pretty good standing as far as this goes.